watching TV. Hey, listen to this. The average American watches four hours of TV a day. A day? You're joking. I guess you're an average American, Jack. You always have your TV on. Come on. Are you saying I'm a couch potato? <laughs> yeah. I really think watching TV is a waste of time. Oh, come on. Some programs are bad, like those soap operas. But what about sports or the news? You watch those sometimes, don't you? Well, actually, for the news, I prefer the newspaper or the Internet. Why? First, because they give you a lot more information. And I can read them anytime I want. Plus, I hate all the commercials. I know what you mean. That's why, when the commercials come on, I just turn down the volume or change channels. Yeah, I noticed that. Channel surfing drives me crazy. Okay, next time you come over, I'll let you have the remote control. Oh, that's so sweet. But I have a better idea. Next time I come over, let's just turn the TV off. Meeting old friends. Ming, look. I can't believe it. It's Dan. Hey, Dan, how are you? Yolanda? Ming? Wow. I haven't seen you guys since graduation night. I know. You look great. Thanks. So do you. So what have you been up to? Well, I go to Faber College. Really? Do you like it? Yeah, so far. But I've been studying really hard. Sure you have. So what's your major? It's computer science. Ah, oh, that makes sense. You always were good at math and science. Thanks. Anyway, what have you guys been up to? Well, I'm a sales rep for a publishing company. No kidding. How do you like that? Oh, I love it. I'm on the road a lot, interesting people. That's terrific. And how about you, Yolanda? I'm studying pre-med at State College. Wow, you can be my doctor. You always were good at science, too. Well, it was great seeing you both. Let's keep in touch from now on. Email me sometime. Here's my address. Explaining a sport. Okay, guys, let's warm up and stretch. So, Ming, when did you get into this karate stuff? Karate's Japanese. Ming's showing us Taekwondo, and it's Korean. Cool. So, what's the difference? Taekwondo uses hundreds of different kicking moves, but karate... Maybe you've seen guys break wooden boards with punches. You know, like... I learned that when I was in school. That's great. I wish I could do that. So, Ming, why did you get into Taekwondo? I had a Korean friend in middle school, and he said it could help me get in shape and build my confidence. So I tried it, and I really liked it. It looks like you succeeded. Well, I'm still working on it. I've really improved my speed and power. You'll see. Awesome. Let's get started. On a college campus. Excuse me. Could you tell me where Kimball Hall is? Oh, you mean Campbell Hall? Oh, yeah, right. Do you see that brown building over there? Uh, behind the fountain? Yeah, that's it. Come on, I'm going there too. Are you here for the English placement test? Yes, I am. How about you? Actually, I'm one of the English teachers here. Oh, really? Maybe I'll be in your class. It's possible. What's your name? Mariko Honda, but most people call me Mari. And you? I'm Nancy Anderson. So where are you from? Japan. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, how long have you been here? Just three weeks. Really? But your English sounds great. Thanks. 
That's because my family used to come here every summer to visit my grandmother when I was little. I can speak pretty well. Mm -hmm. But now I want to go to college here, so I need to improve my skills, especially writing. Yeah, so uh, that's why I signed up for this English program. I see. Uh, what do you want to major in? International business. My father has an import-export company, and he does a lot of business here in the States. Oh, I see. And I also want to take art classes because I'm really into art. Art and business? Wow, that's an interesting combination. But can't you study those things in Japan? Well, sure, but you have to speak good English these days to get ahead in business. It's better for my career if I go to college here. Well, here's Campbell Hall. Good luck on the placement exam. It was nice meeting you, Mari. Thanks. You too. See you later. Bye-bye. Finding a place to live. Hello? May I speak to Nancy, please? Speaking. Uh, hi. Uh, my name is Mari, and I'm calling about the room for rent. I saw your ad at the campus housing office. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, are you a student? Well, right now I'm just studying English, but I'm planning to start college full-time in March. I see. Where are you living now? I've been living in a house with some other students, but I don't like it there. Why? What's the problem? Well, first of all, it's really noisy and it's not very clean. The other people in the house are real slobs. I mean, they never lift a finger to clean up after themselves. It really bugs me. I need a place that's cleaner and more private. Well, it's really quiet here. We're not home very much. What do you do? I teach English at the college. Wait a minute. Didn't we meet yesterday at the placement exam? Oh, you're the girl from Japan. What was your name again? Mari. Right. What a small world. It really is. By the way, who else lives in the house? The ad said there are three people. Well, besides me, there's my husband, Andrew, and my cousin, Jeff. He's a musician and a part-time student. Uh, are you okay with having male roommates? Sure, as long as they're clean and not too noisy. Don't worry. They're both easy to live with. Okay. Um, is the neighborhood safe? Oh, sure. We haven't had any problems, and you can walk to school from here. Well, it sounds really nice. When can I come by and see it? Can you make it this evening, around 5? Then you can meet the guys, too. Yeah, five o'clock is good. What's the address? It's 3475 Hayworth Avenue. Do you know where that is? No, I don't. Okay. From University Village, you go seven blocks east on Olympic Avenue. At the intersection of Olympic and Alfred, there's a stoplight. Turn left and go up one and a half blocks. Our house is in the middle of the block on the left. That sounds easy. Yeah, you can't miss it. Listen, I've got to go. Someone's at the door. See you this evening. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Borrowing money. Hello? Hi, Dad. Jeff, how are you? I'm fine, Dad. How's Mom? Did she get over her cold? Uh, yes, she's fine now. She went back to work yesterday. That's good. Um, Dad, I need to ask you something. I'm sure, son. What is it? Well, uh, the truth is I'm broke again. Could you lend me $200 just till the end of the month? Broke again? Jeff, when you moved in with Nancy and Andrew, you said you could make ends meet. But this is the third time you've asked me for help. I know, I know, I'm sorry. But, see, my old guitar broke, and I had to buy a new one. I can't play on a broken guitar, right? Look, Jeff, if you want to play in a band, that's okay with me. But you can't keep asking me to pay for it. Okay, okay, you're right. But what do you think I ought to do? Everything costs an arm and a leg around here. 
Well, first of all, I think you'd better go on a budget. Make a list of all your income and all your expenses. And then it's simple. Don't spend more than you earn. But that's exactly the problem. My expenses are always larger than my income. That's why I need to borrow money from you. Then maybe you should work more hours at the computer store. I already work 15 hours a week. How can I study and work and find time to play with my band? Come on, Jeff. When I was your age... I know, I know. When you were my age, you were already married and working and going to school. That's right. And if I could do it, why can't you? Because I'm not you, Dad. That's why. All right, Jeff. Calm down. I don't expect you to be like me, but I can't lend you any more money. Your mother and I are on a budget, too, you know. Maybe I should just drop out of school, work full-time, and play in the band in the evenings. I can go back to school later. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Yeah, but you're not me, remember? It's my life. All right, Jeff. Let's not argue. Why don't you think about this very carefully and call me back in a few days? And in the meantime, you'd better find a way to pay for that new guitar. Yes, Dad. All right. Goodbye, son. Finding a job. Hey, Jeff. What's going on? Oh, I'm looking at the classified ads. It looks like I have to get a job. I thought you had a job at a computer store or something. Yeah, but that's part-time. I need something full-time. Really? But what about school? What about your band? How can you work full-time? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm probably going to drop out of school for a while. I'm just not in the mood for studying these days. I'd rather spend my time playing with my band. But my father won't support me if I'm not in school. I see. Well, what kind of job do you want to get? Well, ideally, something involving music, like in a record store. But if that's not possible, I don't know. But whatever I do, it'll be better than my first job. Oh, yeah? What was that? Believe it or not, the summer after I finished high school, I worked at Burger Ranch. You? In a fast food place? What did you do there? I was a burger flipper. You know, I made hamburgers all day long. That sounds like a pretty boring job. It was the worst. And I haven't gone inside a burger ranch since I quit that job. Hi. What's so funny? Do you remember my job at the burger ranch? Oh, yeah, that was pretty awful. But actually, it doesn't sound so bad to me right now. Why, Nancy? What's wrong? Oh, I'm just really, really tired. I'm teaching four different classes this term, and two of them are really large. Sometimes I think I've been teaching too long. How long have you been teaching? Twelve years. Maybe it's time to try something else. Like what? Well... I've always wanted to be a writer. I could work at home. Oh, don't listen to her, Mari. She always talks this way when she's had a bad day at school. At least you have a good job, Nancy. Look at me. I'm broke, and Dad won't lend me any more money. Oh, stop complaining. If you're so poor, why don't you go back to the burger ranch? Listen, you two, stop arguing. Look at me. I can't work at all because I'm an international student. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, Nancy. Tell you what, let's go out to dinner. I'll pay. But you're broke. All right, you pay. <laughs> <laughs>